a little bit about Jay. I, I, like I said, I didn't know him very well, but I got the chance to get to know him a little bit. And, you know, here's a man that had worked hard for everything he ever had. He, while his buddies were buying houses and starting families, he was taking his boat and he was going to Alaska to go fishing. And then he was buying another boat to go to Alaska and go fishing. Then he was running fleets of boats. And he just progressively, more and more, turned his money and everything into where it could help him do what he was truly passionate about, and that was duck hunting. So Jay had took everything he had built and started putting it into lands for conservation and for spots for ducks to go to where they had a safe spot to, to roost, to rest, to feed, to house. And he did this over and over and that and Jay was so worried about making sure that there was groups of birds for people for years to come. And it's reflected in the way he managed his property down there uh, in Othello. He, he runs a, a property down there. He had some property, I think, up on Crab Creek too. And just phenomenal. The guy had specific spots for ducks that we're going to feed and for spots where we're going to hunt ducks. And it just, I mean, everything he ever did was about ducks. Uh, the collection is in a, an amazing spot. You walk out onto the porch of this collection and you're looking at the bay and there's birds flying around it. And every bit of Jay and every bit of this collection was about birds. The house is about birds and it's about preservation of the sport and the history that went into it. And a lot of people lose out on the beauty of duck hunting and why we actually do it with the kill. Everybody's too worried about the kill nowadays and nobody's really worried about what went into it and what got us here. And, and Jay, he was worried about what got us here and it shows in this collection. And I mean, hopefully you guys can feel some of that and what we feel every time we get a chance to come out to here. All right, honestly, I only met Jay Cucci a handful of times. Uh, the friendship wasn't completely there. We hadn't really been around each other enough to build that good friendship, but there is something that we definitely shared, and that is a passion for waterfowl. I thought I was passionate about waterfowl, but this guy takes it to a completely different level. Jay Cucci was definitely a man of passion for waterfowl. Uh, generally only get four months season to hunt waterfowl. So what do you do with those other eight months? You know, a lot of guys get away from it, kind of go back to other, other game hunting or concentrate on working. This guy was year round deal. It was from conservation in the off season to making sure his properties had proper breeding grounds to building this amazing collection that blows me away every time I come in here and I mean it was non-stop for this guy it was constantly on his brain this is what he did Waterfowl Evolution, brought to you by Fowl Factory, real images, real motion, real results. Linex, spray-on bed liners and protective coatings. 
Leatherman quality craftsmanship in every multi-tool. Yeti coolers built for the wild. Spectre shot, you will always know the truth. LMC truck, truck parts and accessories. <laughs>